I'm Liz McKinnon from New Zealand Golf. On this beautiful day, we're at the eighth hole at Tidurangi Golf Course, and we're looking at the rules around water hazards and lateral water hazards. Unfortunately, I find myself in a bit of difficulty here on the eighth hole at, at Titarangi. I am, unfortunately, inside the lateral water hazard as identified by the red stakes. I may look like I've got lucky here because I'm on dry land, but with a hole to the right of me, I don't really have a shot. My best option here will be to take a two club lengths from the point where it last crossed the red line and no closer to the hole. I do actually have another four options to me. I don't think they really suit me, but they are to go back to where I last played the shot. Play it as it lies. To go back in line with the pin and where it last crossed the margin, I can go back as far as I like. Again, that doesn't suit me. Or I could go on the other side of the lateral water hazard, equal distance from the pin and a two club length. But today, my best option is to take two club lengths from the point that it last crossed the margin. Even though for this shot I will be using my wedge, I can take advantage and use my driver when measuring my two club lengths. First of all, I need to mark the point where it last crossed the red hazard line. From there, I'm going to take two club lengths, making sure I'm no closer to the hole. One. In this situation, I can use the same ball and I can clean it. Here I need to face the target at my two club lengths. We've had a successful drop. We've landed within the two club lengths and we're no closer to the hole. Unfortunately, I do have to take a one-stroke penalty, and I now have this shot to save par. I'm Liz McKinnon, and these are the rules of the game.